Okay. Now, I already have the cable that I'm going to use connected to the camera. And let me just zoom back a little bit so I can show you what cable I am using at this point. And let's see if I can find my hand. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Because I'm looking through the viewfinder of the camera, so I couldn't tell where I was. This is, this is the cable that, that I'm going to use and attach to the uh, modulator. As you can see, it's got an RCA plug. One is red, one is white. Normally, this would be for audio. But, I found out that you can use this kind of cable for video as well, as long as it's the right kind. So, what I'm going to do is connect this cable to the modulator. And this is how you would do a mono connection. Now the S-Video Jack is for another kind of cable which I don't uh, have at this point to show you. So we're going to disregard that input for right now. But I am going to show you the others. Now here's what you do to hook up a mono signal to a stereo compatible source. As you can see, we have a yellow jack, a white jack, and a red jack. I'm going to take the white jack, or the white plug from this cable, and plug it into the yellow jack on the modulator. And now I'm going to take the red one, and you want to plug this into the left side. Not the right side, but the left side, because the left side will give you a mono signal. And you want to make sure that they're plugged in real tight. Okay. Now, we have our cables connected. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom the camera back. And turn it just a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. And we'll pan down to the TV. And now you're probably wondering, well, why don't I see a signal from the camera? Well, we don't have the modulator switched to that source yet. We're going into input number four. So I'm going to move or actually push number four button on the modulator. Now we have the signal. And as you can see, we have multiple images of the same thing. We have a TV into a TV into a TV into a TV, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Now, I'm going to show you something that you must not do, okay? You see what I'm doing? I'm going into the screen with the camera, and I'm actually zooming in. And that's what you don't want to do. Okay, I just did it for a real brief second because if that's prolonged, you could do some damage to your camera or to your uh, TV. So you want to be careful not to do that. Now, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see the, see the box, the modulator box, and the TV itself. Because what I want to show you is what happens when you just disconnect the cable from either the modulator or from the component that you're using. So to make it convenient, I'm just going to disconnect the video side of the cable from the camera. Now, as you can see, we're back to regular television. That's because the modulator turned itself off. Now I'm going to plug the video back in. And now the modulator is turned on. So if you do get a modulator switcher of this type, and you plug it in, and you're wondering, well, why isn't it working? 
make sure that you have video signals going through either one, two, three, or all four inputs so that uh, you can use the modulator on a television that does not have line in or outputs that most sets will usually have today. So I hope that uh, gives you a little demonstration on on hooking up devices to your television using a modulator. Um, if you do have any questions concerning this video please comment and I'll be glad to answer them either with a video response or just simply type text. So with that this is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary, signing off. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration, and do look for more videos to come.